Get ready, it's time for the Golden Wedding. Yes, for the first time in many years, the Bachelor franchise is hearkening back to the good old days where its couples got very publicly hitched and audiences were spoon-fed plugs of Neil Lane rings and other endless amounts of product placement. We bought you something and we're very excited for you to have it. It's from your Amazon wedding registry. Aww. We made a registry on Amazon wedding registries. I mean, yeah. I'm a huge Amazon fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. So get ready to watch what is likely going to be the high point of the franchise for the year, and it's only January 4th, as Gary and Teresa get set to be married in a two-hour special that had me giggling for all the wrong reasons. Because as someone watching a wedding where 20 of the groom's exes are invited, I'm horrified. And as someone who's watching it all get controlled and televised by ABC, horrified. As a lover of elegant weddings, I'm a little excited, but overall, horrified. So most of the special actually takes place on this red carpet, where it seems as though the Bachelor people just gave the mic to a bunch of Golden Bachelor alumni without preparing and said, Relax, what's the worst that could happen? Would you like to meet my date? Yes, who is he? I don't have one, <laughs> but seriously, I am the one who called the one-on-one -on -one date with Gary and Teresa that I would be here tonight and they would be getting married. Flashback. I can't tell you how this is going to end. I can't tell you who Gary's going to pick, but I can assure you of one thing. She is not Mrs. Turner yet. End of flashback. Who thought it was a good idea to put a microphone in my hand? Definitely not me. That is a good reminder, by the way. Uh, this is live TV, Kathy. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. Actually, setting up Kathy here with hosting duties was the chaotic choice I needed to start this year. Because sitting here and watching this was like attending a wedding where you only faintly know a few people and you're really just waiting for it to begin. But then, Kathy comes in like... We all know that you did not get the man of your dreams. You had your heart broken on national TV. Yes. What, why are you here tonight? We're going to get... Kathy, oh, my God! Leslie, Hi. I'm a huge fan. A huge fan. <laughs> and suddenly I'm like, all right, an hour of watching this, and I think I can make it. Oh, and if you didn't watch the show, all these women were contestants from Gary's seniors only season of The Bachelor, with Leslie being the runner-up, so it's wild that she's even here when just a few months ago she was like you said things to me that made me think that this was going to be it you led me down a path and then you took a turn so while we wait for the ceremony to begin production fills us up with updates on gary and Teresa, like when their families got together for the holidays me and nana i really love her you know i'd like to marry her what do you guys think of that uh we're just like <laughs> they then throw out previous Bachelor televised wedding couples, Trista and Ryan, and Jason and Molly, to show us that this process really does work and you better not check the recent Bachelor breakup news. But oh my, was the joy of my night watching Jesse Palmer and crew try to hold on to the reins while these Golden Bachelor ladies just grabbed their camera time by the throat and took control of this special. Is this camera on me? Those of you who are sitting on your butt at home, get Get up out that chair. Get it out here in the world. Make a plan. Bring love in your life. Bring romance in your life. Go after that career. Stop watching them children. A queen, an icon, she is the moment. And let me tell you, as a father to an almost three-year-old and a now two-month-old, when she said, Stop watching them children. That, that really spoke to me. From here, production then throws in Brayden and Christina Mandrell, who despite only being mentioned briefly at the end of last season of Bachelor in Paradise, still managed to somehow become the most successful couple from that season. And boy is Brayden a man who's wonderfully living in the air. Like this guy falls hard and fast. So hard and fast in fact... From the moment that you, <laughs> from the moment that you picked me up in the airport with your crazy ass rose, and your fake dis dis disguise. Um, I just, I know that I want to spend the rest of my days with you. And so, Christina Mandrell. <laughs> Yes! 
Okay, ain't no way this man proposed at someone else's wedding. I mean, at this point, I'm shocked they also didn't come in wearing white like. I thought you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding. I know, but there was an emergency. I look really good in white. So Jesse Palmer then sprints as fast as he can over to Gary to make sure that this has his approval and people can stop talking. Just so everybody out there knows, Braden actually called Gary and Teresa and he made sure he got their blessing before he proposed. Pretty thoughtful of him. And we then cut to Teresa's bachelorette party. You ladies like redefined beauty from the oh. inside out. And today we're gonna capture that on camera. So we're gonna do a boudoir session. Oh yes. my god. I'm not sure who's gonna get all these photos, apart from Teresa's to Gary, and of course Sandra's to Denzel Washington. I'm gonna pretend you're Denzel. In my head, I'm posing for Denzel. I have many X-rated thoughts on my mind about Denzel. Throw all the other names out the window and make this woman the golden bachelorette. Unless, of course, Denzel sees this and scoops her up. That's his f I'm rubbing. Yes! Then Susan comes in and decides to replay one of the more talked about moments from the Golden Bachelor season. Never have I ever had a lap dance. I <laughs> Which means it's time for Gary to turn off the TV as Susan gets her wish and, oh yeah, you know Sandra's living her best life. Sandra was playing the bongos on a six pack. I tried to tweak his nipples, but uh, he moved too fast for me. It's at this moment that we then cut back to the live wedding where Sandra introduces us to her date and, all right, I need to see this wedding's dress code because this seems a little much. Anyways, back to Kathy and Charity and the drinks have been flowing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my, I don't know. Hello. Hello. You are a vision of a man. Let me just say, Charity, uh -huh. I'm taking your man. Zip it, zip it. I'm going, let's go. <laughs> okay, what even is this special? So I guess at this point, production decides to move things along before things get too unhinged, and we finally get to see the wedding. First, with this little pre-recorded moment with Gary and Teresa, where we get to see some classic Gary sobbing. I, didn't, I couldn't have found a better partner. Oh my God. Somebody that makes me a better person. God, These are just, I feel the same way. It's, it's incredible that I found someone like you. And then Gary comes down the aisle to meet Susan, who's officiating the wedding, which is just wonderful. Imagine getting married knowing the woman who's officiating said this to your groom. And by the way, Gary, you see these heels? Yeah. I'm very comfortable with six inches. The bachelor world is truly a remarkable place. Now this is then followed by Teresa entering in her beautiful gown and, oh, sorry, everybody pause because we've got a commercial break. All right, now that we're back, Teresa can walk down the aisle, Gary can start bawling his eyes out, and Susan can begin to officiate. And boy, does she actually knock this one out of the park. Gary and I met when I stepped out of the limo screaming, Gary, I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> Turns out I was right. <laughs> We then get words from Gary and Teresa's kids, which is of course beautiful, but also really weird because once again it gets interrupted by a commercial. I can't even wait to see what the future holds. I love you both so much and please take me to Italy with you. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful, so emotional, and when we come back, Gary and Teresa recite their vows. Don't go away. After that, though, we finally see Teresa and Gary share their vows, but whoever's directing this thing is absolutely brutal because once Gary starts his vows, they decide, you know who we need to cut to? My ear that you whispered in when you said the I love yous, but my very soul. It wasn't the, my lips you kissed to clear the frosting, but it was my soul. Okay, it's only January 4th, but that camera guy is already on the naughty list for that one. But the rings then get exchanged, and it's time for Susan to make it official. By the state of California, it is my honor and privilege to announce you, husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Which means the party has now begun. Charity and Dotton announce their wedding for fall 2025, and Kathy is still hosting. I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> if and when you guys get married, I already have your wedding gift picked out. Oh! What, what is it? What is it, Wait, Kathy? What is it? Let's hear it. 
kittens and lots of them. Oh, a whole parcel <laughs> of gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. Can we get her working the Paradise Bar with Wells, but instead of dishing out drinks, she's just taking them? I'm all for that. Also, Jesse Palmer can now finally go home to his pregnant wife, who's literally about to give birth any day. And there you have it. The Bachelor franchise starts 2024 with a wedding. And it's all downhill from here. So that's it for this recap of The Golden Bachelor Live Wedding. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content coming your way at the end of the month. And until next time, Bachelor Fan Take out. That's his I'm rubbing. Yes!